Hi guys, welcome to Broma and Brapsody. This is where we review cars and motorcycles. I'm the host for cars and the meat, he does the motorcycles. In today's episode, we have a 2020 Maserati Levante. Maserati is the Italian car maker and they make exotic sports cars and stuff like that. They got into the SUV space in 2017 because the SUV segment is the largest growing segment. So the Levante came in eight trim levels. You had six with the V6s and you had two with the Ferrari V8. This is the SQ4 Grand Lusso. This has the twin turbocharged 3 liter V6 that puts out 424 horsepower. And the Grand Lusso means this is loaded with luxury. In today's episode, we will look around the car, see some of its cool features, take it out on the road and share my thoughts with you guys, talk about the cars of ownership and the sign it up bromance for. If you like what we do here at Broman, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Don't go anywhere. It's me, it's your boy bro, and I am your bro man. I love the Maserati front grille with the Trident logo and on the sides you have the beautifully designed headlamps looks neat and you have fog lights right below that and with the Levante they went with this design where uh, the grille kind of curves inside this gives it a very aggressive stance and a very aggressive look oh let's pop the hood real quick and see what's under the hood yes sir <laughs> and under the hood you have the 3 liter V6 the side profile of the car is beautiful. I love the lines, I love the roof lines. I mean, it is an Italian car and it has all of those lines. As for the wheels, it has 21 inch wheels. They look so beautiful with the red brake caliper, which says Maserati. <laughs> and on the side here, you have the little Grand Lusso badging. Man, if you look at the tail lights up close and personal, I love that little red exterior, exterior lighting with the little clear clear space inside that's for your turn signals and your reverse light and to me the, this looks like like the car has red lipstick on very sexy very cool and at the bottom it, and it has its quad exhaust two on each side now here we have the Maserati key fob on one side it has that beautiful trident with the Maserati logo and if you flip it over it has these buttons here uh, unlock lock hatch release and remote start this is a good looking key fob you guys. To open the trunk, all you have to do is press on this button twice, like so. And boom! It's a beautiful spacious trunk in here. The seats fold down and you even have a little pass through. Like if you have skis or something like that, you can push that little section down, pass your things through it. And if you look at this little uh, flooring here, it's got this little, little latch pull it open you have some more additional storage space on the right side you have this little belt um, you could put something in here and just hold it in place you have a 12 volt cigarette lighter style power outlet and on the left you have buttons to lock the car and for the trunk to close press it once it'll beep and close As with all luxury cars, you can tell when the car is locked because you see that the mirrors are folded in. Now to get into, into the car, as long as you have the key fob on you, just walk up to the door handle here, press your hand down there and it unlocks. It has these frameless windows. And then coming down to the door, it's really soft touch here. It has a wood insert, the silver insert, and this beautiful brown leather and then you have buttons to lock and lock the car and your window controls and if you look down below there's a little cup holder storage space here and you have the seat heating controls for the back seats it has the Maserati sill plate here and then just look at it this is beautiful I love the color of the seats the the brown leather man looks very classy yeah so let's go ahead and get in as for the legroom I have the driver's seat at my driving position and I still have a few inches of legroom here this is nice you guys 
As for the amenities on the second row, you have a 12 volt power outlet, you have two USB charging points, and you have your vent controls. And the seat in the middle, that folds down to give you two cup holders. And even this is so beautiful and soft touch. That's the view from the second row seats. The car has the same frameless window in front with the soft touch here, uh, the wood insert, the, the silver insert here. And then you have the buttons for your um, window controls, locking and your side mirrors. Now this is where I guess Maserati went into the parts bin because these are the same buttons that you would get on a Chrysler product. The front doors have the door sill which says Maserati as well so just in case you didn't know what you were getting into. <laughs> on the left hand side you have your headlight controls and the start stop button not on the right side this is on the left side. They're paying homage to the, the races of Le Mans. The drivers would put the key in on the left side and they wanted advantage of every single second. So these buttons are again from the Chrysler's parts bin. You get these on all of the Chrysler products. Chargers, 300, Challengers, all of that. And if you look down below at the pedals, there's attention to detail. The brake pedal has the Maserati logo on it. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you have the paddle shifters that are mounted on the column. And you have the wiper and turn signal stock. Uh, the wipers here are automatic rain sensing wipers. If you leave them at on, they will turn on as soon as they detect rain or any water on. And on the left side of your steering wheel, you have your cruise control, your hill descent assist, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and highway assist. On the right side of your steering wheel, you have your phone controls, voice command, and this is to toggle through the menu. Now, if you look at the instrument cluster, it's all Maseratis have that blue instrument cluster. Uh, to the left, you have the speedometer. This speedometer is in kilometers per hour because this is a Canadian car. It's registered in Canada, so it's in kilometers per hour. On your right, you have the tachometer. And in the middle is that menu that you can scroll through. So let's go through a few options. So you can see the tire pressure, your drive mode, your drive assist, driver assist, fuel economy, trip meters and so on. Now if you look closely there you see a, the car logo there. This has air suspension so you can raise the car, raise and lower the car when you're taking it off-road or uh, going over bigger obstacles I guess. It has that Maserati Cyclops eye. <laughs> when I reviewed the Ghibli, the Ghibli had the Cyclops eye here as well. It's a Fiat product, Fiat owns Chrysler. They've been using Chrysler's Uconnect screen. I love the Uconnect screen on the Chrysler's. Um, it's very responsive and it has a very good resolution. You have all the controls for your passenger, driver, heated seat, ventilated seat, and you have your user guide and all of those fun stuff here. Uh, and below you have your radio option, media options, climate, uh, navigation, and you can pair your phone. And I love this one. This is the surround camera. So this gives you a bunch of options for the camera here. And you can select from these which view you want. Uh, you have four options. So there are cameras all around the car which, uh, which give you these different options. And on the left, you have a picture of this is the 360 where you have the car and it'll show you where you're headed based on how you turn your steering wheels and this updates in real time this is very cool as for the rest of this interior man they continue the same trend and the same color combination and the scheme it looks beautiful if you ask me they've done a really really beautiful job it's an Italian car of course they did <laughs> there is a little section here and to access it you actually have to push it down and then let it go it slides open you have a couple of usb outlets there and under this beautiful wood insert here you have two cup holders and a cigarette lighter here which can also be a 12 volt power outlet moving further down below you have your parking brake here this is what you would use to adjust the air suspension up or down hazards um, these are to control your infotainment screen so you can see as I move this it goes and changes 
I can select different things that's pretty cool and on top of that uh, like there are two knobs here the one below cycles through and this is your volume button this is the shift lever <laughs> I like this cool little shift lever here again see it has that Maserati logo there just in case you had forgotten what kind of car you're driving it's a Maserati man you could put it in manual mode and then you'd have to shift up or shift down or you could use the paddle shifters to put it back in park just press park and it'll go back how cool is that there are more buttons on the side uh, you have this button here which is for your to adjust your suspension this is your sport mode it also opens the valves on the exhaust so it, it's a little louder then you have ice which is increased control and efficiency mode off-road mode and then you have the button to turn off your traction control <laughs> I don't know if you should be doing that but hey you could if you wanted to moving further down below you have the center console to open the center console you press the button here and that opens up the center console it has two cup holders here it's a pretty deep and spacious console and this is also cooled so there's a switch here if you turn it to on this console piece here is cooled so if you put a drink here or something and you want it to be cooled you can do that as for my headroom Ah, there's a lot of headroom, a lot of headroom. You have more buttons on the top here. Sunroof, garage door opener, parking sensors. If you look behind, that's your panoramic sunroof. Looks beautiful. <laughs> and these are your lights, the dome lights. The visibility out of this thing is awesome. And this and the dash looks so beautiful this is the view of the cockpit <laughs> all right so let's do our first test the pull test so let me go ahead and put it in sport turn the sport suspension on turn off traction control again hand position nine and three you have these little cutouts and you can reach the paddle shifters right behind you so let's go <laughs> yeah boy let's go let's go <laughs> this is a Maserati for sure this is a Maserati for sure <laughs> SUV or no SUV but it's a Maserati at the end of the day so it can move for sure it can move <laughs> you're not seating you're not seated up too high you're not seated down below it's a good seating height i love the little sound that the exhaust makes i love the the gear changes in sport mode it takes it holds the uh, it holds the gears longer so it changes ooh and i like that it tells you when you exceed the speed limit <laughs> uh, but yeah let me go ahead and put it back in normal mode in normal mode it kind of quietens the car down and the ride quality is very awesome uh, it's very comfortable it's eating up most of these bumps on the road i'm sitting very comfortably i love these seats man they are not exactly like bucket seats but sort of because they have those side supports and uh, they keep you in place as I showed you guys, I, I I was sitting in the rear seats, and it's really comfortable. It's really comfortable. There's a lot of headroom, legroom, all of that. You can easily fit four adults in this car, so this is a good <laughs> SUV to have. Now, is this something that you could use to daily drive? I don't see why not. It's very comfortable. It's roomy. It's spacious. It's gonna get you a lot of attention. Uh, and yeah this can be a daily driver yeah and this can also be a great family car this has a lot of cargo space this has a lot of interior room this the ride quality is very good it's very comfortable this can easily be your this can easily be your family car uh, can you use this to go on long trips or road trips uh, yes you can all of those factors man this is spacious and roomy and and comfortable those all contribute towards it being a really good car and it also has a lot of nanny features it has lane keep assist it has a blind spot monitoring adaptive cruise control 
uh, so all of the, you have you get all of the safety features as well so you can use this as a daily driver as your family hauler touring driving road trips this car is up for all of it now the cool thing is this also gives you the speed limit for the road and I'm in a school zone so this is giving you the regular speed limit and the school since it's a school zone the speed limit right now that's pretty cool I'm not getting a lot of road noise wind noise tire noise none of that the ride quality is very good it's comfy they come with a four-year 50,000 mile uh, limited bumper to bumper warranty and a four-year 50,000 miles powertrain warranty they do not offer the complimentary warranty uh, most uh, most of the competitors offer the complimentary warranty so I guess that's something Maserati might want to look into uh, the starting price for these Maserati start around the $73,000, $75,000 range for the base model and then it keeps going up. Uh, I think the, the top of the line model starts from $149,000, $150,000. Uh, this one has a starting price of about 89000 or 88000 and change. So these, these cost you a pretty penny to buy. I'm having fun driving this car. So why don't you guys head back to the Mini and wrap up this video. Alright, so let's talk about the cost of ownership for the Maserati Levante. It requires a service every one year or 12,500 miles, whichever comes first. And the prices vary year to year. So, for the first service, or at 12,500 miles, it's going to cost you about 480. At two years, 25,000 miles, it's going to cost you $850. Three years, 37,500, it's 1,200. And then at the four year, 50,000, this is the big one. It's going to cost you about 1,600. Uh, and a set of tires on this car is going to last you around 30,000 miles. It all depends on how you drive and how, what you do with it. So, assuming you drive 15,000 miles a year over a two-year period you would need two services service one and service two that's gonna cost you about 1330 and you would need a set of new tires a set of new tires for this car costs you about fourteen hundred dollars that gives you a total cost of 2730 divided by the number of days it's about three dollars and 75 cents a day now the Levante is Maserati's luxury SUV it looks awesome it sounds awesome it has a decent amount of cargo space. It's very spacious and comfortable inside. It handles quite well. I love the finish of the interior, the color. Uh, the whole package comes together so good. And it looks very luxurious and very, very classy. It starts from the mid 70s and it goes all the way up to $150,000. So it can, it can cater to a wide range of tastes. Let's assign it a score, shall we? On the looks, it's an eight and a half out of 10. On the brop, it's an 8.5 out of 10. On the maintenance, it's, uh, it's high maintenance, so it gets a 6 out of 10. And on the usability, it's an 8 out of 10. For a combined bromance score of 7.75 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bro out.